Are you ready to laugh? July 8th at the Rec Room in downtown Toronto, Rank and Vile Canada's raunchiest comedy tour, starring me, Little Darren Frost, and the legend Kenny Robinson for one night only for an album recording. Be part of history. So come check it out. Go to rank, the letter N, vile.com for ticket links or Eventbrite. And thank you for listening and keep listening to realestatepodcastshow.com. Four, three, two, one. Happy Canada Day, everybody. Paul here, real estate podcast show.com. Today is always a very special day for us in our home and hopefully for you and yours. Today is more of a day of celebrating those you care about, those who are there for you, the ones who put you in a good place in your life. For me, I've got so many of you to thank over the years for your referrals, your introduction, your repeat business. It's hard to find the words to say thank you. And I keep saying those words whenever I can to as many of you as I can. But I just want you to know how deeply it really means to me. So the best way I can do that is share the stories that really make this process something real, something that you can feel, something that actually has a benefit for someone on the other end. So. I'll start with a story about one of you that just, again, did something for me that was literally life-changing. It was about five years ago, and I was in the process of going through some difficult times. One of you just seemed to notice that things weren't going so well. I was just having a little bit of a bad streak. And in this business, in 22 years of doing this, there's been some bad streaks. Some I can explain, some I can't. But in this particular case, it was just one of those bad streaks where things weren't going right. And I just didn't feel like that I was, you know, I didn't have a lot of confidence at the time. So because of the actions of one of you and more than just one, but because of the actions of this one particular person, it literally became a life changing moment. Just having those of you share my name with someone, a friend, a family member, a coworker, at all times is appreciated, but when I'm doing my best to support my family and take care of my kids and be the caregiver as well for my wife who's blind, it becomes a lot. And there's been some times when doing it alone was just not an option. So I reached out for help. And when I reached out for help, the help was there. And I'm never going to forget whether it's one of you or or there's been more, but this particular one was at just such a low point that it literally, I think, saved my life. So I want to thank you guys for keeping me at the top of mind when you make your moves in your lives. I want to be there for you and I want to help get you guys out of those situations when you're having rough times. Because I've been hearing from a lot of you lately that just don't feel comfortable at home with the payments or debt or a combination of those things. And if anybody understands it, I get it. 
I've been there before. I want you to know that I'm there for you and make sure that you guys understand that if there's anything you need from me at any point in terms of support or um, other kind of help, whether it's financial, whether it's personal, could be anything that I've got experience with. And, And I can tell you that in my career in 22 years, I've got experience in just about everything. I probably should have a few degrees by now, just by the amount of exposure to things, everything from divorces, from bankruptcies to um, job issues to relocating, like just everything that you can think of that you might not think I know the answer to, you might be very surprised that I do. So I'm here to help you guys. And I want to make sure that on Canada Day, you know that there's someone out there that'll help you through some hard stuff and get you past it. Because sometimes you have to actually step outside of your bodies to be able to figure it out and say, what would someone 10 times smarter than me do? And I'm not saying that's me, but I'm saying for you, what would something, what would someone 10 times smarter than me do? What would someone with 250,000 in the bank do right now? How would they deal with this problem? And I want you to be able to access that information and make it yours. So if I can help you do that, reach out to me anytime, paul.indrigo at c21.ca. But I want to keep this short. I want you to have a great day today. Head out to your local parks, spend time with your families, barbecue, hit some garage sales, whatever you want to do. If you're in the East York Danforth area, you can even stop by my garage sale. We're having one uh, on July 1st because the, the kids are, so, are looking forward to it and we want to do it. So have a great day. Talk to you soon. And remember that the summer for real estate is July. This is the month. If you're going to be on the market and if you're going to create that buzz and you want to attract those super high, high paying buyers, Make sure you've connected with me by now or very soon so that I can get to work on creating the beacon and literally like the magnet that your house needs to have to be able to attract those quality buyers and the ones that are most qualified. You don't just want anyone buying your property. There's a lot of mistakes happening when that happens. Let me help you through it. I'm here to help. Have a great great one. Talk to you soon.